nuclear stove. Item number, SCP-446. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-446 is completely safe without a connected fuel source. SCP-446 and fuel is to be stored in separate sections of Storage Unit 5. Description SCP-446 appears to be a common kitchen stove with three modifications. A small hookup for a pressurized gas tank is attached to SCP-446's right side. Another hookup is attached to its left side, to which a specialized turbine can be attached, and three of SCP-446's four stovetop control knobs have been removed, with the remaining one modified with two settings, on and off. SCP-446 cannot be started unless the turbine and a pressurized tank containing hydrogen are attached. When started, SCP-446's internal chamber is flooded with hydrogen from an attached tank. SCP-446 then heats the gas to 1 million kelvins and compresses the gas using strong magnetic fields, source unknown, causing the hydrogen atoms to fuse into helium. This energy is used to power the attached turbine. The metal SCP-446 is made of should not be able to handle the temperatures, but stays solid despite heat that should vaporize it. Dismantling SCP-446 has only uncovered completely standard stove parts. Addendum 446-1 Discovery of SCP-446 outlined in Document Number 446-1 Document Number 446-1 Three agents dispatched to Blank Corp building in Blank, Minnesota after an undercover agent in the area called in a mysterious event in the building's basement. SCP-446 found in basement of building along with partially evaporated body of a janitor. According to the manager, a mechanic named Blank has been responsible for the building's generator. Another janitor of the building says Blank, confirmed to be the corpse found, went to the basement to look around. It is presumed that he opened the front of SCP-446 while fusion was occurring, releasing plasma which vaporized his upper body and damaging the surrounding area. The mechanic has not been seen since the incident. Document number 446-2. Message from O5 blank. Why is this thing still in storage? Do you know how expensive it is to power Site 19? 